Ron's new Sylvia. Will be for sale. Here's his other one. I just bought this G35 Infinity for $350. It was in a minor accident, so the core support is broken. It's all fiberglass. I have another G35 out here. I've been parting out, and it has everything I need. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this core support off. This is the one I got out here for parts. Here's the core support I need. Not too many bolts, a lot of clips. Got it all off. I'm going to carry it back up where the infinity i just got is all right carry it back up in here it's a little broken on the bottom this one's still got the bottom piece in there um just gonna put it in there like that and hope for the best see the old course port it's broken all across there or across here is good I do take this off now stuff off that course port and put it on this course port first strip down this one and get it on there I'll, I'll put some water in it real quick make sure this uh, radiator is good because the other one out in the infinity out there has a crack in it putting the core support back on spoke too soon it's got a hole somewhere gotta find a radiator now for it yeah, i was hoping i could get lucky on this but it's leaking straight out of right here so i'm gonna have to go get another one i'm gonna look at a few nissans out in the yard out here see if they look the same for now until i find the radiator i'm just gonna throw the new core support on a little newer not brand new by any means but I'm gonna throw it on for now and then put the radiator on later.
core support is on. Got a bunch of little wiring to do for the fan, horn, headlights. Got to run all that back in there. And uh, still got to find the radiator. Need to get a fan, air box, small mis miscellaneous things. bumper headlights and everything back on still need to find a grill need a radiator and a fan once i get those few things this baby will be done the only tools i had to use were a 10 mil and a 12 mil to do all of this and i need a little knife to undo the clips and some pliers for the clips that are on the wires real easy doing this a lot easier than any other car I've done because they're mostly metal and they're tack welded on there you have to drill it out but this one just unbolts all right so I ended up using a radiator from uh, that Honda CRV uh, this hose lined up perfect but uh, the other side hose did not so I uh, ran it into a pipe and then the pipe to the other side. Had to cut this out a little bit for the cap to go on and off. I'm gonna sand it out and make it a perfect curve. But, and I still gotta hook up the fans. I'm gonna hook them up with electronically to where when you start the car, they automatically turn on. Fans are all hooked up. Everything else is done except for trying to get this uh, hood to line up. Now I got a problem here where this hood needs to be pulled more forward. The hinges are bent on it. When you're opening it up, literally pulls that up. I can't really see it in there, but that hinge is curved. So I gotta figure out how to pull this baby forward. Got the hood to fully close. Still a little bit of a gap. I'm trying to straighten that. Took it for a test drive. Everything's all good. Just gotta get a front grill for it. And then it's ready up for sale. Fully closed the hood on the limo and now it won't open. Even if you pull the thing on the inside. Got vice grips on it, been yanking it. Won't open, so. I'm gonna cut a hole in the grill. Finally got it. Well, Brian got it. Had to cut out the heck out of the grill to get it open. Changing the fuel pump fuse now. And it should start back up.
here. We're going to be getting back to work on this thing, finishing it up. We're going to take this piece of roof out and uh, redo it, make it longer so we can get it more straight. Just got to figure out the roof and then the rest is easy. There's that infinity. That's going to be it for now. Appreciate y'all watching. See you guys next week on Limo Part 10.